mean, honestly, honestly, if we're being honest, can we just take a moment for this look? I mean, I'm really giving you like Oprah Winfrey top to bottom, left to right, <laughs> left to right, up and down, diagonal, all directions. I mean, real. it's the glasses, I think. I think the glasses are giving like, um, the glass, the glasses are giving, were you silent or were you silenced? Yeah. Consider yourselves fed, period. I mean, wow. Wow. A little commotion for the background. No, because the background is giving you Cheetah Girls too. <laughs> it's giving you Barcelona. It's giving you, um, oh my gosh, the background is giving Aqua, Galleria, Chanel, and Dorinda before the squad split up. That's what this is giving. I mean, truly. <laughs> Let's just get it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my brand new talk show. Do I know you? Mm. The name's gonna hit every time. My name's Jordan, but you can call me Jordy Ray because I just have a feeling that we're about to be real close. Like, locked in for life type, type beat. Um, I'm so excited you're here. Like, I wish there was a word to capture my excitement deeper. The reason I'm so overjoyed enthused, ecstatic, over the moon. Yes, I just went to thesaurus.com because y'all are not about to catch me slipping. Like the energy, the energy that I need y'all to feel right now, it just wasn't coming through with excited. So forgive me for being a scholar. But the reason I feel all those things is because Do I Know You is the first of its kind. Over here, we're celebrating love and light and truth and honesty. And all these things are super important. But one of the biggest pieces of this show is this concept of identity. Because I said I'm a scholar, I'm about to break it down like a spelling bee, okay? I'm Akilah, you the bee. Identity starts with what? I, oh my gosh, this class participation is giving right now. Identity starts with an I, meaning it's all about you. And so much of our identity is caught up in our relationships and our goals and our careers and our jobs and our friends and like what we do and fame and goals and like all this stuff. And all that's fine, but what really matters is like, if you take all that away, who are you at your core? Do you like yourself? Are you happy with yourself? Like, can you be with yourself? And that's something that I just really want to celebrate here. And I'm going to say this every time, like you are enough as you are. All that, like I said, is great in moderation, but ultimately you are you and you were created to be you. And so that's something I want to celebrate here just through the lens of siblings and children of celebrities. I don't want you to think that just because I'm interviewing siblings and children of celebrities that you can't relate. Like this point of identity and figuring out who we are at our core without all that is relevant for all of us. And I think all of us can learn so much from each other on this show, which is why it's a talk show format. <laughs> I mean, like the juices are flowing here, period. Now, I feel like I'm in a unique position to host this show because like I said, fellow siblings and children of celebrities. Well, we're just doing a grammar lesson here because clearly fellow means that I identify with one of these. So I am a sibling of a celebrity. My brother is Draymond Green. He plays in the NBA, Golden State Warriors. The thing is, some of y'all right now might be tuning out. What is basketball? What is NBA? You might be thinking touchdown. And that's okay. Because the beautiful thing about this show is you don't got to know about sports. You don't got to know about music. You just got to know about yourself and want to hear good conversation and laugh because that's what we're here to do. So that is why I'm very excited to host this show. I love my brother so much. I love him so dearly. I love all my family so much. And something that I've realized as I've grown up through the school system and graduated college, now I'm 22 and I'm just a wise creature. I've realized that when people learn who my brother is, they automatically, like before I even walk in a room, before I even know them, they just think I'm going to walk in and like, I don't know, like cross him up or like, ask him to play horse or like dunk on him, block him. Like, Hey, calm down. Like, and it's just this weird thing where I feel like people like project their perception of him or like even more so their projection of like how they expect me to be or how they want me to be before I even walk in. Y'all should know by now I'm my own person, like main character energy. Okay. As I talked with more children and siblings of celebrities, I've realized that there's like this universal common thread of this feeling that I'm describing and I just decided through Do I Know You that like, it's time to highlight more stories. So that's what we're here to do. 
So why is it called Do I Know You? I'm so glad you asked. I mean, this audience participation is just right. It's right right now. So it has two meanings. On one hand, do I know you? Like, I know your dad. I know your brother. I've seen them on the news. I've seen them in games, whatever. But do I know you? And that's what we're trying to understand. And on the other hand, sometimes people really just be in your business, okay? Like, they be in your business. They pass your business. They in your business. And you just got to hit them with a, do I know you? All right. So now y'all might be like, okay, got it. Cool. But why are we sitting here listening to you? Duh, you have taste. (laughs) Like, aw. (laughs) Number two, this is my lifelong dream. I'm about, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm about to paint a picture for y'all. Y'all know That's So Raven, obviously, because you have taste. We've established this. So picture a little Jordan on the bus in third grade. I'm eight years old. My head's like on the bus window and I'm like trying to like fake like I'm in a music video listening to, um, what would I probably be listening to? Probably like a playlist of Colby Kelly Bubbly and like Dynamite by Tayo Cruz. I'm giving you range. But I feel like I was probably like, Yeah, I was eight years old, laying my head on the window, thinking that I'm in a music video in a movie. The rain's coming down. It's like dark outside because, you know, in elementary school, they make you go to school at like 6 a.m. And my head was probably bruised because also, y'all remember how like you would try to like sleep on the bus, but you would hit potholes. Like you would consistently hit potholes. You wake up with a migraine. It like wasn't even worth it. But I digress. I'm laying up on the window and boom, like the raven eye where it's like zooming in. She's like, like. That was me. God literally gave me a vision at eight years old. It was me, red curtain behind me, and a microphone. And I was like, okay, cool, God. I'm supposed to be a superstar. Got it. Done. Like, easy money. Turns out that's not easy money. And that also was not what God meant. So I was like, okay, let me carry off my life. I like tried to shake the vision, and I just couldn't. Like, it would just, like, come in and out over the years. COVID hit, and God hit me over the head with this vision again. And it was so clear to me. Jordan, like you are supposed to be a talk show host. So after a lot of prayer, after a lot of action, after a lot of chats, I'm stepping into my purpose. Like this is what I'm supposed to do. And this is what I mean about do I know you? Like this is central to my identity. I know who I am. I know whose I am. I know where I'm rooted. And this is just me walking in my purpose. And so I'm just so grateful all of you are here for the journey because it's about to be a good time. Okay, this is kind of chaotic, but randomly, can I tell y'all one of my pet peeves? yes thank you audience y'all are just so sweet and like giving and caring so thank you guys thank you all so much one of my pet peeves Ooh, i'm getting irritated just thinking about it so okay let me back up i'm like kind of like a talk show like not snob but like a connoisseur like i study hosts very carefully because it's like my craft like it's what i want to be really excellent at right something i cannot stand is when okay If you have Beyonce on your show, queen of giving very minimal interviews, okay? Y'all will learn, like, Beyonce's gonna get referenced, like, every episode, because that's just what we do over here. If y'all have B on the show, why are you gonna ask her something that I can Google and find an answer to in point oh 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 one seconds? Like, I'm gonna beat the search engine. That's how fast I'm gonna find it. That gets under my skin so much because, one, it's dry, and two, it's boring. Here on this show, we don't do boring. Because here's the thing about me. I'm on TikTok just like y'all. My attention span is rotted just like y'all. Like, I have 0.05 seconds to get your attention. If I don't have it, you are free to go. Because I'm leaving. I'm not about to sit here and listen to nonsense, especially if it's boring. So over here, it's high energy. We're going to have fun. We're going to have story times. And we're going to have some Q&As. And it's just going to be good vibes. And I can't wait for you to hear from our guests. We already have... Just so many amazing people that are coming on to share their story. And I'm just so honored to be able um, to be trusted to share it. And yeah, ultimately, I just think it's going to be a wildly fun, insightful, and just beautiful ride. I'm so excited for y'all to watch the first interview. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you want to see. If there is someone you want to see that you know or you feel like I should be connected with or you don't know them and you just would love to hear from them, let me know in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram at Jordy Ray. And yeah, we're just going to have a great time, y'all. Cheers to you and I'll see you Thursday. Mwah!
Purr.